Hey, this video I'm making to kind of go along with our 12 Days of Christmas videos because we've been making lots of skeins of yarn. And I had someone uh, request kind of a how I get my the singles, my single plies to relax. Um, kind of how to wet set them. And I swear I thought I'd made this video already. I think I've made a similar video to this that probably covers the same thing, but it was an older one and hard to find. So I just wanted to make a direct one. And I know this is covered in our courses, so sometimes I get confused on, like, what is on YouTube versus what is in the, the paid courses. But this is something you need to know. So there's barely any yarn on this Knitty Knotty because I just used a scrap yarn for, uh, you know, demonstration purposes. So the best way, I use a lot of singles and I knit, you know, I spin a lot of singles and I knit with them. And you definitely want to relax them. And you may, especially as a new spinner, be like, there's no way, like, it's all springy that this yarn is ever, you know, like you'll think it's it's ruined or something. So what you do, don't think it's ruined, it's not. Wind it onto a nitty knotty, which is why I think, like there are many things you can get by without having, in my opinion, a nitty knotty is not one of them. You can make your own out of like PCB pipe, even though I don't know if I'm that cool. Or, um, like I said, you can order them. They're not that expensive from, like, you know, anywhere. <laughs> like, Spinolution has one, but you don't have to have a Spinolution one. Um, it, it's cool because it comes apart, but uh, you can get a really basic one from many places. So get yourself a Nitty Knotty and wrap your yarn on there. I have another video showing how to do that. It's called Nitty Knotty Basics, if you look it up. <laughs> and um, so once your yarn is on the Nitty Knotty, you know, it's all stretched tight. So you wind it directly from the bobbin onto the knitty knotty. Like, don't, you know, do anything in between. <laughs> so get it on your knitty knotty. And then what I do and what mom and I do um, with our yarn is we run it under the sink, <laughs> just in water. Or if you have one of those detachable sink heads, you can kind of, you know, spray the sides that way. But I mean, there's no great science to it. I don't use, like, don't use hot water and don't use like freezing cold ice cube water like just normal sink water. And um, so spray it down. Your Nitty Knotty will get a little wet. So, uh, you know, if it's a family heirloom or something, maybe don't use that one. Um, I don't care. I see them as work tools. So just get them wet. They don't have to be like sopping wet, but you know, decently they feel wet to the touch wet and then I just let them dry I set them on my counter in the sun and just let it dry and you would be amazed like uh you know if it was really twisty let it sit you know like overnight or something but it's really amazing the difference between not wet setting your yarn and wet setting your yarn so like I said please don't think that like your singles are crazy and bad or anything they're not they just need to be they just need to chill out so wet them on the Nitty Knotty, all stretched out, let them completely dry on the Nitty Knotty, and then when you take them off, they will be much, much happier. So that is what you do. You can also wet them, and if you have like patio chairs, like take it off the Nitty Knotty and put them over the back of like two patio chairs to like keep it stretched out. I've also seen people um, steam it. I haven't done that, even though I've heard that's really good, like get a, a clothing steamer, but I'm afraid that would felt. So I don't know, I haven't, I haven't done that yet. I've also seen people wet it and then hang it over a doorknob with like a weight on the bottom. Basically, you just, you're wanting to get it wet, keep it stretched tight, and let it dry. So whatever does that for you. For me, I find the easiest thing is to just do that and leave it on the Nitty Knotty, and I by far get the best results that way. Hope that helps. Happy singles.